Now, recently, videos showing DIY face masks have been trending on social media. People from all over the world have been making their own masks out of t-shirts, scarves, or even just random pieces of cotton. But the question is, can they actually protect you from coronavirus? When you wear a mask, you want something that essentially protects you from the virus. You want a filter that prevents you from inhaling harmful airborne particles. That includes pathogen-carrying droplets. But t-shirts, cotton, is just not delicate enough to work as a filter. Now, some say the holes in the fabrics are tiny, so the viruses won't be able to get through. But you know what? Let's see how big the droplets are. According to this paper published on the U.S. National Library of Medicine, 82% of droplets expelled from coughing are in the range of 0.74 to 2.12 micrometers. How big is that? That's about 180 the diameter of one strand of your hair. Now let's see how efficient different types of masks are. Take a look at this chart. Let's get the x-axis showing the particle size and y-axis showing the percentage of particles a mask can filter out. Now here are the corresponding performances of N95 respirator mask, a medical grade surgical mask, a disposable mask, and a cotton mask. As I said, most of the droplets are in the range of 0.74 to 2.12 micrometers. So let's get that part highlighted. Okay, here we go. You can clearly see that cotton masks are not very effective, whereas the other three kinds can sufficiently protect you from the majority of droplets. So, no to t-shirts. Droplets can still get through the material. But as you can see, disposable masks work just fine, so you don't have to get a medical grade mask. This is a tough time. Many frontline medical workers are still facing a severe shortage of protective gears. Some have been working without proper PPEs for days or even months. We do not need to fight with them over the medical grade masks when the disposable kind work just fine. But what if you can't even get a disposable mask? My advice then is to stay at home as much as possible and cut off all potential sources of infection. And remember to always, always wash your hands. And that's it for today. Let me know if you want to know more about the coronavirus by leaving comments down below. Again, I'm Li Zhao. Thank you so much for watching.